longer, you need to learn certain techniques for keeping the hoop up when it starts to fall. So start feet hip distance apart, one foot slightly in front of the other, knees nice and soft. Shifting your weight from one foot to the other. I like to think about pressing forward with my left hip to keep the hoop going. So starting with it on your waist. Now, if this is really hard for you and the hoop starts to fall right away, the technique for bringing it back up is that you bend your knees so your spine is nice and straight, straight down into the hoop, and then start pushing really hard and quickly with that left hip to get the hoop to come back up and then stand back up. So I'll demonstrate that now. You're around your waist, hoop starts to fall, bend down, hip, 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 to bring it back up. A couple more times, hoops falling, hip, hip, hip. Notice how my spine stays nice and straight. I'm not bending over, hip, hip, hip. And if, if I were, let's say I were to bend over to try and get the hoop to come back up, then this would start to happen and I've totally lost my horizontal waist hooping. One thing also to consider, if the hoop continues to fall, even though you're trying these techniques and practicing a lot, is that you may be using a hoop that is too small or too light for you. The diameter of your hoop for a beginner should be at least or almost to the height of your belly button from the floor. This is a very good size for starting. I also suggest using a hoop that is, has a nice weight to it, no heavier than two pounds, but a, around the one pound range is a good starting weight. So if you notice that your hoop is very light and very small, that is probably the main problem that you're having. So keep that in mind when trying. I'll show, I'll demonstrate this one more time to hoop longer. Bending, it falls, bending down, kicking it back up with your hip. And that is how you hula hoop longer.